Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jay Jeter back again with another review. This time I have Transformers Masterpiece Takara MP19 Cybertron the Virginary Tactician Spoke Screen. There he is. And here's the box he comes in. Comes in this nice uh, sturdy cardboard box. See the small screen robot mode right there. The Nissan logo, and he is a Nissan Fairlady 280Z T. Get your bong, get your Japanese in there. And get the product shop side, top, nothing but words. And on the back, it's more Japanese. He transforms to that, transform to this. He stacks up Optimus Prime. We got him his. His weapons, what he's doing, he got the shoulder cannon, got the, the rifle, and he has comes with all of this stuff, and, and he fits in the trailer of Optimus Prime. Yes. That's enough of the box. And also he comes with, as you saw in the back of the box, a trading card. Got his specs in the back. Japanese robot mode. Nissan. Got this little contest thingy for TakaraTomiFans.com. If you read Japanese, go for it. And got his instruction booklet or sheet. It says fold it up nice and neat. Get it open. And it's pretty much the same as all the other ones. You got his um, vehicle mode and he gets you the specs on his vehicle mode and he gets him his specs right there on the English for him. Um, some profile shots of him, profile shots of the vehicle. This is what his weapons and special gimmicks do. You got his disruption, disruptor of fire, just like on um, Blue Streak, and he has a jamming launcher. You can see that right there. Yeah, he has some special stuff about him, and you get the back, you get this regular instruction sheet. Alright, let's put that up, get it out the way. Get all this out the way. And let's go on to our featured guest, shall we? Here we got smoke screen his vehicle mode. He is a um a race car. Um like I said before, as a Nissan Fair Lady. And he rolls very well on surfaces. Gets the camera focused. Uh, focus. Keep it focused. And uh, as you see, he got these um cannons on his um his hood. So yeah, um, his mold is a little bit his mold is a little bit different from um as we saw before with smoke screen and prowl. And here's smoke screen. Um, not not so. I said blue streak and prowl. And here's blue streak right here. And as you can see. Um, there's some differences with with the two, as far as the molding and what what have you. Just to focus in a little bit better. There we go. So yeah, yeah, one thing you might notice is you notice you will notice is the bumpers are different. He has a um, kit added to the bottom of his bumper, and he has the, the, the little decals painted right there. And on the back, the um, tail lights are different. Get a spoiler on the back. They do still have the, the windshield wipers the back there are still there. And also he has holes on his hood near the vents. So he can put on his little his shoulder shoulder launchers fit right there. And that is about it as far as vehicle mode differences go. Uh, besides you want to count all the added little the decals and stuff, the sponsor, racing sponsors, all that stuff. We got DevCon oil. Slot fire, sorry, uh, slot fever, sorry, smoke tactics. And one thing about smoke screen, you watch the show, you know that he specializes in smoke screens. Yeah, that's what smoke screen does. And that and we had a smoke screen on Transformers Prime who did not blow smoke because he really wasn't what I consider truly smoke screen. They just threw a name out there for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. 
I like this figure. I like this vehicle. It looks great. And he also does a little um, gimmick for the for his rifle. Same thing as with um, Blue Streak. You see my Blue Streak review. I had. I show you how that function went. I'm not gonna do it here. But yeah, cool. And he does the same transformation. I'm just gonna skip transformation and go straight to robot mode. So we start out in vehicle mode. Then we going to go transform into robot. All right, now we're back and we got blue. Um, dang, I'm the wrong person. Smoke screen transformed into his robot mode. As you can see. He looks just about the same as the others. Yep. So, but there's some differences. As you can see, um, and here he is with smoke screen for a comparison shot. And as you can see, they are very similar in how they look, but yet they are different. The smoke screen. Keep getting the names confused. Blue streak stands up straight. Okay, here we go. So there's some differences. Here you can see that um, the front of the chest different. Got the kit right there on, on him on smoke screen and the regular bumper. Good, bring it up in. Let's bring it in, fellas. Bring it. In. You can see. I don't know. So I'll bring me the lighting. The crotch plate is different. Uh, what else? The biggest difference, another big difference, is the shoulders are different. As you can see, uh, Blue Streak and Prowl have the wheels in the back of their shoulders. Small screen has it on top. Yeah. And another difference is the head. Let's bring it in again for us. Let's bring it in. Let's get, get it close. And you can see the different faces, the face and everything like that. Uh, Smokescreen has a totally different helmet. He's wearing like kind of like a, you want to say like a, a bonnet, maybe. <laughs> and uh, Streak and Proud, they wear like a helmet and everything. So this dude got a full helmet with chin strap and everything. So, but it's a good face. It's very cartoon accurate and whatnot. And another difference is the shoulder cannons you can see uh streak right here has the cannons right there like that but this guy does not have those type of shoulder cannons he has shoulder cannons he has shoulder cannons but they are different let's see let's pull them out just like you would and what you saying you saying what, what hey aj what, what's these what, is, what kind of cannons are those? Those aren't cannons. Those are like little nubs. But wait, there's more. You take these things that were on his vehicle mode. Yeah. What you're going to do, you're going to slide them into this hole right here. So, slot. Push, undo that backpack right quick. There you go. Slide those in. Had this tab right here hooked onto his back. Like that. And then, bam, we got one. Same thing on the other side. Slide it in. Bring it back a little bit. That hook over like that. Take the backpack back in. And there you have him with his shoulder cannons so yeah there they go so that is another big difference between the three so smoke screen has his shoulder cannons from the cartoon which are are accurate and they work very well so one thing bad thing they kind of go out to an angle a little bit as you can see yeah angled out a little bit but that's okay i mean that's fine. No big deal. It's a minor nitpick. So, so yeah, that, that completes his look. His look is accurate. And, and uh, sorry, I lied. There's one more other thing that's different about them is their rifles. 
Prowl and Blue Streak have the same type of rifle. Smoke screen has a totally different molded rifle. So still have the same little gimmick that um trick the weapon storage on vehicle mode. So it has that still, but it is molded totally a different type of mode. Let me bring it out so you can see. So yeah. Different weapon. And bad thing about his gun that for some reason doesn't really slot in his hand securely. I mean, he can hold it just fine and everything, but it doesn't like when you slot it in, it doesn't seem like it, it catches real good. But when you just close his fist up, close his fingers in or around the, the grip, he holds it just fine. It doesn't about to fall out, nothing like that. So, holds it just great. And he has the same articulations as the others. I'm not going to get too much into Oh, let me do it. I said I had to do it with Blue Streak. Uh, his head does look up and down. Well, down as he can look because he got this big old chest in his way. It goes left and right also. Uh, arms go around 360s on the ball joint. Kind of hindered because the wings in the back. Uh, shoulders go out like that. Uh, shoulders go forward. He has a upper bicep, upper bicep swivel, uh, double jointed elbow because of the transformation. Rotates at the wrist. Hands open up. Uh, waist rotation. Has a side skirt that lifts up on both sides and go out like that, that far. Do a good side kick. Go forward, go back, not that far. Here they are, double joint knee, do the transformation also. And he has a uh, slight ankle, ankle tilt, and his foot does go forward and back. So, yeah, that's about it for articulation for him. Uh, one thing these. Um, Cannons do kind of don't want to sit flush all the way. Sometimes you just got to get them at the right angle to uh, get them to flush out and whatnot. So, but yeah, this dude is awesome. I like smoke screen as a kid. Like when he, like when he did his like his little smoke screen thing that he did so well. And um, Transformers Prime they named a guy smoke screen. And he had nothing like smoke screen. He seemed more like Hot Rod than smoke screen. I just don't know why they just didn't name him Hot Rod. So, <clears throat> so yeah, he is cool. We got a nice little Autobot symbol right there. Nice little detail. You can get into that detail. The details of the windows on his legs. It has the hollow backs. I know some people complain about the hollow back of the leg, but why would you display your figure from the back? I don't know. So why would that bother you? And yeah, he's just a um, cool looking dude, man. Very accurate to how the, the cartoon looked. I, I, I really do appreciate what the car is doing with these masterpiece figures with their um, the cartoon accuracy. So let's go ahead and get these. Well, I did the comparison with him in um, Blue Streak. There they go, right there. Yeah. I want red alert. Right there. And we got Prime, but Prime. Yeah, Optimus Prime there. And we got him with Prowl. So, yeah, they all look good together, man. He fits in real nice with the masterpiece. Um, he's doing some remodes with some season one guys who can translate to some season two guys like with red alert and and uh smoke screen right here but i like what they're doing with them uh, we're getting will jack next so he's gonna be mp20 after that bumblebee and supposedly after that is gonna be ultra magnus and i really like, like to see what they're gonna do with ultra magnus hope they don't mess them up so so yeah i'm digging it i'm digging it i'm digging it you get these three the dotson guys all in shot right here so, yeah. 
All right, y'all. That's been um, that's why my review is. I recommend getting them. I mean, sure, it's a nice figure. Nothing wrong with him whatsoever. Um, mine's got a couple of paint smudges, I guess. I probably can get that out. But other than that, the paint is the paint is great. Uh, the the joints are nice and tight. He's his joints are, are the tightest of all three of them. So, so yeah, I do recommend getting them. Pick them up now. You can get. I got mine from Anime Export. Um, original price was like forty four dollars. I think they probably went up about ten dollars since then. So probably the, still about the cheapest you'll find it find around. And shipping should cost no more than I say about fifteen dollars. So. All right, y'all. That's been me, Jay Jeter, with MP19 Smoke Screen. Uh, stay tuned with more reviews. I'll be back at y'all. All right, take care. Peace.